when you run the shorted status reports, and it's actually the it's two reports. You can do it for sales orders and production orders, but basically it has the same header information. And you can select the different fields in here. First one to stop and show the first error, meaning if there's an error in the calculation, it will stop when you check mark this and provide the error, but then it also stops the batch job. If you deselect it, it will just ignore the order and set the status to error, so it's possible to run through. The general end date is used to determine which date to calculate to. And you have to be aware, of course, if you calculate four months ahead, it will give different shorted statuses. And if you then calculate two months ahead or two weeks ahead tomorrow, all the further sales orders will still have the shorted status you have calculated earlier. The use due date field is meant to calculate with the expected due date, meaning if you have, for instance, two orders and one of them is two weeks before the other, it could be unstuck. So it looks only till order date, calculates until the order date. I'll explain that in detail in other videos. The field include expected supplies, of course, implies that you can take into account expected supplies before the sales order due date. And the field only include promised supplies will imply that it only takes the date from the confirmed supply date on the supply documents on the purchase document and use that. So only if there's a confirmed date, it will include it. These are the fields and you can just uh, click OK and run through it. I will get into those different fields more specifically in other videos.